Hey, my Linians, Teacher Darwin here. Today's video tutorial is all about the topic caring for your respiratory and circulatory system. This video lesson is based on your activity sheet, quarter 1, week 2. And this is based on your learner's material, pages 14 to 22. So, it is best to have your activity sheets beside you and to have your book open. But, a friendly reminder, do not write anything on your activity sheet or on your book. So sit back, watch, learn, and let the knowledge flow. The learning targets for this video tutorial is to infer how one's lifestyle can affect the functioning of the respiratory and the circulatory system. To test your prior knowledge about the topic, let us have some series of warm-up questions. Question number one, give one bad habit that can do harm to your respiratory system. Your timer starts now. Time's up. You nailed it right. Probably the most common habit that can do harm to our respiratory system is cigarette smoking. For question number 2, give one bad habit that can do harm to your circulatory system. Your timer starts now. Time's up. You got it right. The most common answer is eating fatty foods, which is a part of an unhealthy diet. Let us have the topic about respiratory care. Probably, you see this picture a lot. That is the smoker's body. Do you want a body like that? Probably not. To avoid having a smoker's body, here are some 5 ways to take care for your respiratory system. Number 1. Exercise regularly. Exercising regularly can strengthen your lungs and your diaphragm. See the animation. You can do those exercises at home. Number two is to avoid air pollution. Air pollution can cause serious damage to lung tissues. You can cover your nose when there is pollution or the most safest way is to have a face mask. Nowadays, wearing face mask is very relevant. Number 3 is to avoid cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoking is the major cause of respiratory diseases. You might also want to avoid vaping. Smoking at a very young age will do serious damage in your lungs. You might regret it one day. Number 4 is to seek for medical help, especially for respiratory infections. Do not try to diagnose yourself. It will only worsen the situation. Number five is to sit, stand, and walk in the correct posture. This little gesture will allow you to breathe steady and easy. So those are the five ways to strengthen your respiratory system. I promise you, those are legit. If you don't follow those healthy ways and you keep abusing your respiratory system, here are the some common ailments that you may catch. First in the list is asthma. Asthma narrows the bronchioles. It will cause wheezing and difficulty in breathing. Number two is cystic fibrosis. Do you know the movie 5 feet apart? This is where people can die due to coughing because they are drowning in their own mucus. That's gross. And if you continue to smoke heavily and bake more often, you will get a lung like this. That is called a smoker's lung. A smoker's lung is caused by lung cancer. And if lung cancer is not enough for you, then you might want to have emphysema. Empysema is caused by too much cigarette smoking and 
Can you take a look at those healthy lungs and compare it to those lungs which has empyzema? Do you want that? Then, you may probably start thinking if you smoke. Let us have a special topic since we are currently experiencing this pandemic in order to stay healthy and sway COVID-19. Be healthy, be clean. Always practice a proper hygiene. Clean and disinfect. Practice the proper hand washing techniques and always have a small alcohol in your pocket. Practice social distancing. This is what we are doing right now. There is no face-to-face -face classes, so I am teaching you from kilometers away. Pick up and delivery. We deliver your activity sheets in your respective barangay halls. And your parents are doing a very risky task on pick up your activity sheets. So, you must do your best in order to answer those activity sheets correctly. We and your parents are risking our lives for you to learn. So stay and learn at home, stay healthy, and stay COVID-19. And by the way, you might wanna take a look at that animation for some alternative handshakes. Those are cool, right? So let us go back on track and study some circulatory care. Again, let us take a look at that small bird's body. And I know, nobody would want that body. To avoid that smoker's body, here are some 5 ways to care for your circulatory system. Number 1 is to increase the intake of dietary fibers in fruits, leafy vegetables, and full grain. Here are some foods that you might want to include in your diet to boost your circulatory health. First is lentils. An example of lentils are peas and beans that are good at reducing blood pressure. Then we have garlic. Garlic is a very good plaque remover. Then we have oranges. Oranges reduces heart failure. And if you drink red wine, red wine reduces unwanted blood clotting. Going back to ways in taking care of your circulatory system, number two is to exercise regularly. Nothing beats a daily regular exercise. Number three is to get plenty of sleep. A lot of your teachers would want that. Ask them. Number four is to have a diet on sweets and fats. Say goodbye to fried chicken, french fries, ice cream, and a lot more. Then number four, if you are not smoking, don't ever try. And if you do smoke, you might consider quitting. If you don't follow the ways to properly take care for your circulatory system and you keep on abusing it, someday you will get these diseases. Number one is high blood pressure. High blood pressure is also called as hypertension. A BP of 140 over 90 can be considered as high blood pressure. Then we have heart diseases. An example is atherosclerosis. It is the buildup of plaque in the arteries. The buildup of plaque in the arteries can damage the heart. And it will lead to serious diseases like heart attack. Our lesson on week number one taught us that the respiratory and the circulatory system are working together. They are working together in order to provide oxygen throughout our body. So, we must do our best in order to fight and avoid some bad habits that may cause damage to them like smoking. No one wants to be riddled in the hospital bed. So, never give up on your healthy lifestyle. To check and generalize what we have learned, let us answer these questions. For question number one, how will you take care of your respiratory system? Your timer starts now. Your answers never fail to amaze me. That's correct. You can take care of your respiratory system by exercising regularly, avoiding polluted air, avoiding cigarette smoke, 
seeking for medical help when respiratory infections occur and having the correct posture for sitting, walking, and standing. For question number 2, how will you take care of your circulatory system? Your timer starts now. Another correct answer, in order to take care of your circulatory system, you must eat healthy foods, exercise regularly, get plenty of sleep, don't use tobacco products, and have a diet on fats and sweets. You are now ready to apply what you have learned in the enrichment activities. Reminder, do not write anything on your activity sheet. Write your answers on a separate long band paper. For enrichment activity number one, Hilda's challenge. Remember the smoker's body. Help Hilda to identify the possible diseases that the smoker's body will have in his respiratory system. Activity number two is Akai's challenge. Again, we have the smoker's body there. Help Akai to identify the possible diseases in the smoker's body's circulatory system. Enrichment activity number 3 is called Hilda and Akai's Puzzle. Have you played 4 pigs and 1 word? Well, this activity is like the same, but I'll give you a tip. The answers are illnesses or diseases of the respiratory and the circulatory system. For enrichment activity number 4, Hilda and Akai together. In this task, you will be creating a health plan. In order to create a health plan, think of 5 entries on what to eat, 5 entries on what to do, and 5 entries on what to avoid. Now, time to wrap things up by answering these two questions about the respiratory and the circulatory system. So, what's the outcome of watching this video tutorial? Have you mastered the lesson? It's up for you to decide. And that's it for our video tutorial about the topic, Caring for the Respiratory and Circulatory System. If you have any questions, you can personally message me in my Facebook account or you can post your questions in your science Facebook group. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you and see you on the next video.